first tonight, we begin with the president's address to Congress. President Trump wrapping up his speech just a short time ago. And he talked about several key issues, including defense spending, which is important to Rhode Island, and immigration. I would assume reporter Kelly Sullivan is live in studio with more on what the president had to say and who some local leaders also brought with them to tonight's event. Mike and Shannon, in his first address to joint members of Congress, the president touched on many issues, the main ones being repealing the Affordable Care Act, improving the economy, and increasing spending for our military. Now, the president walked into a very divided chamber of Republicans, eager to shake his hand while Democrats avoided aisle seats. Few shook the president's hand, and Democratic women wore white to show solidarity with the suffrage movement. But the president offered a message of unity and hope, and offered to reach across the aisle to work together to create jobs, fix crumbling infrastructure, Infrastructure and ask Congress to pass an education bill that funds school choice for disadvantaged youth. Now, tonight, President Trump made the case for his tougher immigration rules and the construction of a wall along the U.S. Mexican border. Trump says the country will soon begin construction on that wall and it will be an effective weapon against drugs and crime, as well as the announcement of a new office. I have ordered the Department of Homeland Security to create an office to serve American victims. The office is called Voice, Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement. We are providing a voice to those who have been ignored by our media and silenced by special interests. And perhaps the most emotional moment of the night, the widow of Navy SEAL William Ryan Owens was at the address tonight. Now, her husband was killed last month in a raid in Yemen. She received a standing ovation as President Trump thanked her and said, we will never forget him. Each member of Congress is allowed to invite one person to this address. The uh, delegation from southern New England, all Democrats, picked their guests carefully to send a message to the president. Senator Jack Reed brought a doctor from Wakefield who supports the Obama health law. And Massachusetts Congressman Joe Kennedy invited a former intern of his who received cancer treatment through the Affordable Care Act. Congressman David Cicilline brought along an advocate for people with disabilities after President Trump mocked a disabled reporter on the campaign trail. And on the immigration issue, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse invited the president of the board of the Islamic School of Rhode Island. Congressman Jim Langevin brought a Muslim American immigrant. And one of the president's most outspoken critics, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren, invited an Iraqi refugee. Now, the president brought his own guests. He invited the widow of the late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. He also invited the widows of two California police officers who were killed in the line of duty by an undocumented immigrant in 2014. Now, President Trump is expected to announce a new overhauled immigration ban tomorrow, saying his administration, quote, has been working on improved vetting procedures and would keep out those who would do us harm. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.